most of the time when I'm working with machine, I tend to use electronic kits or urban kits. So I fancy doing something a bit different today. I want to work with uh, an acoustic kit. So I'm in the browser at the moment. We've got a product. I'm going to flip over here to types. I'm going to go to kits and acoustic kits. So we've got a list of kits here. The Abbey Road ones are supposed to be very good. So the 50s one sounds quite intriguing. I'm going to dive in. So let's take it off browse. Let's have a listen. Wow. Now that's actually responding really well to velocity. So if I hit it gently, it's a different sound, different tone to when I hit it hard. And the kick sounds as if it's switching the samples. Interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about the tempo that I was um, just going with there. So one, two, three, four, about 103. So that's shift plus a note repeat for the tempo tapping. So 103, I'm going to set the, uh, the metronome on and I'm going to record something in. So let's have a look. Okay, a little bit messed up there, so I'm gonna quantize these. Need to practice a bit. So you can see that I'm not getting it quite right here. I really want to make sure I've got the best take. Okay, right, now that's gonna do. I wanna take a look at what's going on with some of these effects and just gonna switch over the view on the software so we can see what's going on with these effects. Saturator is on at the moment, so this is providing some texture and flavor, no doubt. Just gonna push shift and take it off. And also let's move to the next one, the compressor as well, bypass. I wanna see how these sound. So you know what, it's interesting because um, you know the processing was really adding to the character there. So the guys have set up um, some good effects. But I want to try something new because when it was the um, the Black Friday sale with all the half price stuff from Machine, uh, from Native Instruments, I dived in with the, um, the Classic Compressors bundle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the 1176. So this is going to go here and the browsing here. Now what I need to do is go to... Um, NI. So we've got native instrument stuff here. And this compressor is the VC76. The 1176 is a classic old compressor. And um, you know, you can see this in the software now. And I'm gonna have a play around with this. Um, this is a real classic compressor for drums. So this could give us a really interesting vibe. So I'm gonna have a play around.
Yeah, that sounded great. One of the things I just want to explain about this compressor is that the attack and release are opposite of what you would expect normally. So if I rotate here and go clockwise, that's actually going for the fastest release time. The attack here, if I rotated that clockwise, that would be the fastest time. But you can see here that I'm just going for a slow attack to try and keep those transients nice and punchy. Um, the release is fast deliberately to create that really hyped energy. The input here is like bringing a threshold down on a conventional compressor. So as I'm rotating to the right, that's like bringing the threshold down on a normal compressor. So I really love the sound of this actually. Just gonna have a play again. Just bringing the overall level down. Yeah, that's great. Um, it's made me think now, actually, I want to try something on the next group. And I'm just going to take a look at percussion. I get a feeling, you know, let me just uh, switch over here. Just remind myself where the percussion is. It's on this list, isn't it? There we go. So perk kits. And I'm thinking bongos, you know. Um, I get a feeling this could be really nice. So back onto this, and um, in fact, I'll tell you what, with the groups, that's all of the, cat, the samples in the bongo group here. I'm going to add an effect, so shift browse. Um, just going to come back to internal, so the default effect within the machine software. So reverb. Okay, a bit more stereo. Yeah, so that's working out as a real um, nice kind of organic breakbeat kind of vibe. But I'm now feeling that um, this could be quite interesting sped up a bit. So look, let's have a play around with the, uh, the tempo. It's almost turning into drum and bass. That's a lot of fun. Um, so look, a couple of things there. You've seen how the 1176 compressor can really kind of slam the beat together and make it sound really lively. And um, also, you know, experiment with tempos. So if you've got a beat that sounded quite nice, just see how it sounds faster. You know, that could definitely um, work. You saw that I did a little bit of muting and changing the beats there using the step sequencer um, to bring it more in line with the drum and bass kind of flavor. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed doing that. And um what I'll do is I will save the project and make it available for you guys to download um, so you can check it out as well. So yeah, as usual, just um, fire off the comments if you have any questions. Um, and um, yeah, maybe I'll do this sort of thing again. I quite enjoyed that. <laughs>